guys what is up happy monday welcome back to another crumble video so these are this week's cookies and also happy early fourth of july to anyone out there that celebrates let me turn my radio down i hope you guys didn't hear that it's really really hot today and i have to turn like the air off so bear with me because I want to like turn the air off so that we can like hear everything and there's not like a lot of background noise. So bear with me. It's really hot where we are today. Okay. But again, happy early 4th of July. We're filming this on a Monday. Breeze with me to have these in the back. So this week hey, we Mary. have four really, really good looking cookies. The lineup last week was good, but it wasn't like the most exciting lineup. This one does look more exciting. Although last week was the first time ever, I actually did go back. I did get myself um, a three pack of the Galaxy Brownie cookies and another one of the fruit pizza. Those were good. I was just kind of craving sugar, but this week does look a lot better. So let's just get right so into it. This is it. the first one. They have had this many times before. It's birthday cake patriotic, break out the fireworks, a cake batter cookie top with smooth cake batter frosting and patriotic sprinkles. Normally what they do is for major holidays, they always have this cookie and then they'll just like change up the color of the sprinkles. And that's the cream cheese frosted cookie that I love. This one they've had before also, but I've never had it. Actually, they've had all these cookies before from this week. I've never had this one though. It looks so good. I've never tried it. Brownie Sunday, a rich brownie cookie paired with fluffy vanilla mousse, gooey hot fudge, rainbow sprinkles, and a maraschino cherry on top. This one, I'm sorry about the way it looks. I have a three-year-old with me, but it's strawberry shortcake. This is chilled. A cakey cookie topped with silky whipped cream, freshly chopped strawberries, and a house-made strawberry jam. That looks really good. And then this they've had before also, warm cowboy cookie, a warm oatmeal cookie filled with tasty semi-sweet chips, sweetened shredded coconut, and crunchy toasted pecans. I've had this before. Actually is better than what I thought it would have been like that other time I tried it. It does have a lot going on, which I'm not really a fan of. But I've tried that before and I do like it. So they've had all these cookies before. I've had all of them except for, I think, the strawberry and then the brownie sundae. And I'm sorry Bree's going all in on that cookie, but let's try that one first since that's the one that she has been eating. I'm gonna take a bite. I mean, take it back. Mmm, Celia, so Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, the center of this is it's not underbaked, but it's almost underbaked, which that's not really too good. That's not appetizing. I don't know if you can see the bottom, but like it's just really like under bake. Um, it is good though. It does have like a nice strawberry shortcake flavor. So like the whipped cream and then the strawberry on top does have a real shortcake flavor. But you guys, that cookie's kind of under baked. I'm gonna have to contact Crumble about that because I don't like that. And ask if maybe they can give me um, like a refund or do something because that one is a little under baked. I don't know if you could see that. Um, I hope you don't get sick from that, but. It would have been good um, if it wasn't like so underbaked. I'm gonna give that a one out of 10 because it's underbaked, you guys. If it wasn't, I would have probably given it a nine out of 10. Uh, don't worry though, I will see if I can get in touch with the crumble. And then next up, we're gonna try the patriotic one. This looks um, okay. So hopefully this one isn't underbaked. And Brie can have the first bite. You don't want that one? She doesn't want that one, but I'll try I don't it. I want that one. Mommy. Can I have that one? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is better. It's not underbaked. Crumbles cookies, they are always like on the softer side, especially in the center. That's just normal. That's why a lot of people don't like crumble though, but I do like crumble. But they should be more like what that patriotic cookie was, not the other one. The patriotic one is good. I'm giving that an 8 out of 10. I always do love a good cream cheese frosted cookie. I should have saved this for last, but Brie wants it. So we're going to try it now. The brownie sundae. This frosting looks a little bit more yellow than what was in the picture, which is kind of weird. Can I have some? 
I'm gonna try it. I think that we should break this one because it's kind of hard like for us to eat it. So on the picture, this looked white. I don't know why it looks yellow. Um, I'm not happy. I'm not liking these cookies this week. The lineup, amazing. But the way my crumble made them, very upset, very disappointed. I'm gonna contact them because I'm not happy. And these cookies, if you haven't ever bought them before, are expensive. So you don't want your crumble to mess up. The icing's yellow, it's supposed to be white. I don't know what's going on, but let's try it. Hi. Do more This was so It's okay. It tastes like a brownie, which is great. Yeah. But it's so thin. And it's not that moist. I was expecting the center of this to be more moist and a little bit more thicker, like the Galaxy Brownie cookie from last week and most of their chocolate cookies that are like that. It's not that thick, not that moist. It has a brownie taste, like spot on. But I don't like the texture of this and I don't like that this is yellow. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I'm gonna give this one just a six out of 10 because I'm disappointed with this. Last cookie is the Cowboy cookie. Um, this one, it is a little bit softer in the center, but it doesn't look raw, so hopefully this one is better. You gotta chew it up good, okay, Brie? This one does have nuts in it and coconut, so I gotta be careful with Brie. But this one, this one is probably the best one. Mm, that's actually good. I think this one is my favorite one this week. Even though it was the one I was least looking forward to, it actually turned out to be my favorite one. That cookie would have been good, but it was raw, very disappointing. The brownie sundae cookie, it was okay, but it was kind of thin and a little bit dry, and I don't like the yellowness of the frosting on top. I thought it was supposed to be white, like in the picture. The Patriot cookie was good, wasn't underbaked. That's pretty much the same as it always tastes. It's just a good classic cream cheese cookie. Favorite one this week was the Cowboy cookie, unexpectedly, because it was the one that wasn't screwed up. And it was also really good. The chocolate chips were melty. I like the coconut, I like the nuts. While I'm not normally a fan of cookies that are too busy, I like that one. So that's first place. Second is Patriotic. Third is the brownie, and last place is the shortcake, but only because it was raw. If that cookie wasn't raw, that probably would have been before the patriotic cookie. But anyways, I'm sorry this review was a flop. Um, Brie said the cookies were good, but yeah, I'm a contact crumble, and that'll be it for this week's review. Sorry it was a flop, but thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have a great 4th of July for those that celebrate. And until next time, bye guys. Bye guys.